Um, good evening. This is the meeting of the Cemetery Commission in Douglas, and um, it is May 29th, middle after 7. To my right is our secretary, Mrs. Hines, and to my left is our new member. And congratulations on your Thank you. acquisition <laughs> uh, to the Cemetery Commission, and um, that is Ms. Youngsma. So we'll open the meeting. Okay. The first thing on our agenda today is <coughs> reorganization, which is uh, the first meeting of all committees after election. Um, the offices, you have to reorganize. So I would like to start by making a motion to nominate Charlie Coney as chair. And I can vote. You, yeah, you. you oh, yes. I'll well, second. Okay. Because <laughs> you have a lot I of people. I can't. I can't vote. No. No. Okay. Thank you very much. So moved. Okay. Now, you make the, a motion to nominate me as secretary. All right. I will nominate Debbie Hines as secretary. I second it. <laughs> so moved. Okay, and I make a motion to nominate Betsy as our treasurer, and I will work with her through this first year. Okay. Okay. So moved. Who was the treasurer? Alari? Yes, she was. Yes. Yes. No. Um, and she's, there's some paperwork. Yeah, I have a bunch of stuff at home that I want to set some time up with you that we can go over. Okay. It looks very um, scary, but actually no. it's not. Oh, no. I'm not scared of much. I okay. can tell you that. <laughs> All right. The first thing on our agenda tonight is the minutes from our 417 meeting. <clears throat> no. Let me know when you're done reading them. Okay. Do you um, want to make a motion? <coughs> okay. I I've got some comments. All right. I make a motion to accept as written the minutes of 417 2018 meeting. So moved. Okay. I can make some comments on it. All um, right. Go ahead. All right. With the um, full circle here regarding future work to be done Yes. Um, in this period of time, mm -hmm. um, I left a message for him to not forget the poison ivy in the okay. Pines, Pine Grove Cemetery. Okay. Um, I don't want anyone to be affected by the right. mowing of the stuff and the going in there. We have a situation where we have poison ivy that grows where we removed old trees and the poison ivy on the fencing is within, I would say, maybe three or four feet from the party's open windows. Oh. Yeah. And didn't one of the children get it or something? Well, it was a, it was a health issue that they, we had to address that, yeah. you know, because it was our issue. So. Um, poison ivy is a problem. As a, as a preventative, in other words, that's something that we try to keep our mind on every year so that that's done before we get into an, an issue with someone. Um, all right, the next one about Henry, <coughs> excuse me, Henry Torpy, who we talked to, a young man who is looking for his Eagle Scout badge. 
um, and was had talked to us about um, signs for row markers uh, in the new section of the Douglas Center Cemetery. Oh, okay. The last time that um, he made a call and left a message for me to say he thought it would be cost exorbitant for something like their project and was looking for another project. And I have... So I thought we'd talk about it at the meeting. We could do that because <coughs> I know I tried to think of, of different things and the only thing that I really did come up with was um, after that meeting, I thought about that meeting that we had with, and I went through the minutes from last year, that we had with the gravestone girls and that regarding the tomb, that since we could not restore it as far as the preservation, if we could, you know, research how to do it the correct way to go in and possibly clean the wall some, take new, better pictures of the stuff on the wall. I mean, <laughs> that's all I, I think. I think that's sort of out of. Oh well, that's out it. of the league of. I've never, to be honest, I've never been in the scouts. So, you know, when they say is there a project, I. Yeah, I wouldn't clean those walls. No, no, I just think that the whole thing is over the head of. Okay. All right. Um, I think that's sort of. Uh, he'd have to do a lot of research, for instance. Well, not only that, but he's <coughs> leaving. Um, as I understood it, when I spoke to him, because I had been waiting for him to get back to me, uh, when school lets out, he's leaving in June. Mm -hmm. But he'll also be away the entire summer. So, okay. and with, during which time he will turn 18. So I don't even know, to be honest with you at this point. Well, that we've missed the boat. If we can yep. help him. Okay. I can get to him. I'll make a con you know, contact with him, leave a message again. And, um, cause he is at school all the time. Unless. Or doing other is things. Is there anything that you could think of? I don't know what their guidelines are. It has to benefit the community, can't benefit the Boy yes, Scouts yeah. in any way. I do know that. You know what? <coughs> I have at home. Um, I think, I think I made a copy for myself. Not the, the fella, because one scout, there was by the gun club that redid the cemetery. Not that one. There was someone a few years before that, and he sent a letter you know, explaining that he wanted to do a project and if we could show it to anybody else in the town and it has all the paperwork listed. So let me see if I can find my copy at home tonight. If I can, I will shoot you an email. Okay. All right? But it sounds like time is of the essence right now. And, yeah. You know, which I thought this was... Perfect. A, it was a good project. I don't know whether it would be too much for this party. I, I really don't know. A bench would be nice down there for people to sit on. I mean, that's an easy enough project to put down and yeah, install. Yeah, mention that. I don't know what his... The thing is, obviously, they have limited resources. I understand. Yeah, so you would have to go back and forth. But, but then again, Betsy's right in a sense because a bench would be a lot cheaper than the market. There's a lot of people down there. I see a lot of people down there. Yeah. Because the last bench was the one we had brought in, remember, from that? Yeah, that woman had it for her husband. Yeah. Mm. That's right. There's a family that has some stones that, are, that you can sit on down in the new section, but somewhere around in the old section by the, where they have the water and just a nice little yeah. rest, rest, yeah. resting area. Yeah. Have a little rest while you... Especially you're as we're, you know, we're augmenting every year, we hope continuing. Some nice flowering trees and right, you know, yeah. keep that, at least keep it attractive. Okay? okay. All right, and going on down to the compost that we got last year. All right, wait, um, wait, wait, excuse me. All right, it's growing. That's, that's on the agenda. 
Oh, it is? Yes. Because that to be spread. Yes. The spreading. Okay. Yeah, okay. All right. All right. The next thing, <coughs> excuse me. The next thing so on the agenda yeah, is I mailed the letter to the Masons. Um, I'm sorry, I left the copy right on my. I know, I know. I think, wait a minute. I might. No. I'm sorry. It's right here. I mailed the letter out to the Masons regarding. Um, what we were concerned about? Yes, yes. Um, you want to show that to Betsy? When you're done, I mailed it out on 515, and as of today, we have heard nothing. matter with the family plot it's in need of some care is that their responsibility or is that ours well we take care of the mowing the actual plot itself no yeah there's a couple stones in the old cemetery that are toppled over the erosion on the hills and the on the left side well this is, is all washed down the stones too and they're all falling over now yeah but this is in a very prominent area, mm -hmm. so we thought that the Masons would be more than happy to fork over a couple thousand dollars. <laughs> no, manpower, basically. Oh. All right? Yeah. Well, I don't know. Well, see what they well, say. Well, I mean, w to make an overture and ask them to come to a meeting. Yeah. Um, and have I don't know any Masons. So. I don't either. So, hence the letter. So, and we'd like to have them at a meeting so that... Um, it wasn't easy, easy for me to find the name of that gentleman, I tell you oh, that much. That's what I, I say, I don't know any reason. But in other words, the last time I made any contact, there seemed to be some interest. Oh, good. That was just a personal, by the way, so right. it wasn't official. But this, we thought, we'd do something Is it broken? so that we've got... Are, are they broken? Or no, are they just no, overgrown? They, need, they need care. Okay. The whole plot. It's a large family plot. Okay. And it's, they were members of the Masonic Lodge. Okay. So we thought they had some responsibility. Okay. So we're taking a shot at it, rather than let it go year after year. If we can find any more, I thought it was a good idea too. We'll just, if we have any luck, we'll just pursue it, you know? They're always looking for community projects to do. I think that's their base of their organization. Although I don't know. It's a secret I don't know either. That's right I said. I don't get, don't get involved in men's things. Those are men's things. Yeah, but it's secret. Yeah. You know, they it's, a, it's uh, yeah, <laughs> you're right. It happen. <laughs> but, so for us to find out, come to the meeting and we'd like to talk to you. Okay, the next thing on the agenda is the first mowing. And the <coughs> first mowing was done on 525. Um, After much kerfuffle. Yes. I would like to say, <laughs> I'd like to make it now that we agree that from now on, for our first mowing, whether it's this high or this high, not the Friday of Memorial Day weekend, but the week prior. But I'd like to comment on that also. Depending on the weather, there are things you can do, as you know, with your own front lawns, and there are things you can't do when the rain is raining. I understand that. So, no, but I think for the public. Yes. I think they should know that. Yes. Look at your own back or front yard and see that, you know, you can't do certain things without detriment to the soil. Mm -hmm. if you attempt to mow and it's sogging wet. Mm. Okay. So we don't do it. So we, in other words, go by the weather. And so do the mowers. And we have no complaints about the mowers. No. I would prefer they not move the, uh, mow the top of that tomb home. Because I hate to say it, you're losing all your dirt. 
Well, we, we can deal with that if you want to. Can because I'm going to build bring build conduct kind of down there. The stones that are toppled over and the the washouts from no grass. Well, that'll be on this committee then. Yep. Yeah. So, but somebody has to look at it that that's smarter than I am because that tool needs to be before you find the stone that, that's laid on top. No, I understand. It's all that. below the. Well, let's the let's put is. it in the right order here. Yeah. Have we got okay. a discussion for that? No, that was is for that next a, meeting for because okay. what I was going to, what I've done. But Betsy, new business, you want to bring it up as new business? Well, okay, and I'll explain what I'm working on for next meeting. Okay. Let me just change. Okay, the next thing up is file cabinet. I just want to say that my neighbor, who asked that his name not be mentioned, donated because he owns his own business. He has file cabinets, had file cabinets like that to put inside the drawers so you can hang folders in it. So now we can set up the files how they should be set up. Okay, is that going to take care of our other problem? No. Okay. But fortunately, because the override passed and the library is still open, we have our binders in the archival room. Oh, okay. Because other than the other binders that we had gotten for the South Street Cemetery, mm -hmm. they wouldn't fit in that file cabinet. Because oh. they're, well, you know, they're huge. Oh, yeah. So... Town clerk have a key. The town clerk. Have she a key, will yeah. be getting one. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. The next thing is the water was turned on on five twenty one. And the fifty one the fifty dollars fee was also paid already for that. Uh, Lori took care of that. And under old business for other is the compost and topsoil, uh, the compost that's there. And I believe Shirley, you, we, yeah, we spoke to Mr. Tebow. Okay. And he's going to spread it, correct? And we have to decide what we're going to do because we can't really improve that area unless we have water supply a little easier for acquisition. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that has to be something that we either decide to do or not to do. Okay, well, I think we should meet. Uh, we want an extended water line. So I think we should meet with the water commissioners again. <laughs> Tell them what we want, and then they can take it from there as far as letting us, you know, with cost and, you know, what has to be done to just, okay. you know. We'll leave it at that then. Yeah. The reason for the extended water line, Betsy, is we've put in soil, mm -hmm. we've put in seed. And it just washes. Just the soil is not. We're trying to improve. Um, it takes a lot to and the cover way the that sun area. Bakes down on there. Yeah. So, in other words, if you're going to do that, you have to have a constant water flow to get that grass going and for it to look good. It's, it's just wasting time and money. And it's been, we've tried it now for 
in fact, one year we just said to hell with it. We mm -hmm. didn't do anything, mm -hmm. right? Um, and we did have grubs. We had a treaty for grubs. Um, so then it was recommended that we, you know, new, what's the word? Um, provide more nutrients to the soil. Yeah. So in other words, compost and topsoil and compost and topsoil. And we have at this point heard that from a few different people. So it's not just one person who's saying it. Well, what they've said is, don't waste your money. Don't no, that if we don't, you don't, if we don't do something about the water, anything we do is... So that's on the agenda to do. And of course, we had to have, we did have an issue when we did some planting with some flowering trees. Fortunately, the Boy Scouts helped out. And that was every day Yeah. at the planting, after mm -hmm. the planting and the Boy Scouts and their leaders supervised them and we got an extra long hose from the line, mm -hmm. had it all arranged so that they could water those seedlings, mm -hmm. you know, every day. There's no sense in going to that trouble, labor and spending, it's not a lot of money, but it's, it mounts up when it doesn't amount to anything. So you can't take the old dead trees down and not put anything up. Okay. Um, moving on to new business, I just put other. Uh, I just want to say, because we started a discussion on the tomb, what I wanted to do was I preferred that we put it off till next meeting because I have notes from, you know, minutes from our other meetings that I've compiled on a piece of paper, pictures from work that was done on the tomb from years ago, and I'd rather bring that all in and have it here in front of us. That's fine. Okay. Is it locked? No. No, we can go right in. Anyone can go in. Okay. Yeah. yeah. We did have it seeded. Oh, I think we haven't had it done this year because we no. haven't done any growth this year. No. Um, yes, last year we had it seeded the year bef after that, before the that. The top of it? Huh? Yeah, the top of it. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think it just washes down to just well, be a dirt now. Yeah. Except for a few little sprigs here and there. Yeah. I mean, you could cut it with scissors. But I mean, you know, that was because we did the whole cemetery. Mm. And you can see where that ended up down in Dudley Brook. Well, the soil is not good, nope, you know, it and isn't. and uh, it just needs to be improved upon and it's unfortunately it has to be done with a little bit little bit little bit you know okay um is there any other new business hmm i had something on my mind just a minute ago and I well i can i did prepare for myself okay um i did prepare somewhat of an agenda for next meeting but um, on that, you know, we'll discuss, of course, the updated deed, which that we will explain to you, Betsy, at the next meeting. Um, we want to talk about a plot increase, the price. Yeah, that usually lasts us for a while. Yeah, uh, so a we lost don't deed rush. replacement. Um, <clears throat> that was it. Um, and I'm, you know, working, contacting other cemeteries to get an idea of prices and, and we are one of the cheaper cemeteries around. Well, we've always been. Oh, even in Douglas right now. <laughs> that I will tell you. Okay, the next thing is secretary's report. Hmm. The only thing we didn't see first off Douglas Center is the only active one, right? South Street, you can't bury anybody in. Or Pine Grove. Or Pine Grove current. That's right. Only one current. This is the 2000, annual 2017 report from the Greater Worcester Foundation. We do have money here. Um, some of these people. We don't know who contributed. It's no, we don't. Charlie Church was, is a, was a big contributor. Um, 
Uh, there are some that are anonymous with no names. To the to a cemetery fund, to the yeah. care of. It's yeah. So you know the Buxtons mold their own plot. Yeah. They mold their own plot, and the it's prize and everybody yeah. else's. They don't. We're in um in Douglas Center. Yeah. So if you want to, you can look at that because I look, I have these copies at home. Okay. Yeah. And again, Betsy, when I get together with you to show you the treasury stuff, mm -hmm. you'll see all their reports and how they come in mm -hmm. as well. And, okay, so that takes care of secretary's report. As far as treasurer's report, <clears throat> we received a voucher from, excuse me, <coughs> from A and B Lawn Mowing, Brian. And the Main Street, Cemetery Street, and South Street Cemeteries, because he had to mow them twice, was $1,450. And for the Main Street, Cemetery Street, and South Street Cemetery, additional fee for first cut was $725. So I am going to contact Brian and I just want him to, because he was supposed to send a letter. Who was Brian? Brian Burnett is the owner of A and B Lawn Mowing. Oh, Douglas. Yeah. And I'm going to call him and ask him exactly. You know, I understand we paid nine fifty, and it's being increased. Mm -hmm. I just want to know what are we being? How much of an increase is it? That seven twenty five. To the 950, I don't know. I would just like to hear him explain it to me. For myself, if nothing else. So he doesn't else. do landscaping. Hmm? He doesn't do landscaping. Who doesn't? This guy. We don't, we don't do landscaping. All right, well, we're using the term landscaping, but this is our mower. Yeah. And he only does the mowing. Mowing, mowing yeah. Um, I don't know if you know about the history of the mowing situation. Well, I know the town never did it. Um, oh, it was, I think, 2008 or 9 that um, we had some problems. We had a party that was from Northbridge. That was when I came on board, I think, a little, little before that. And um, there was a major problem with damage to stones with their work. Um, the weed whackers around the edges? Oh, other things, too. Mm -hmm. yeah. So um, that was brought to our attention, and we asked them, you know, if they could rectify it. Um, so there was a, a few things going back and forth. We've got it all back in the minutes. However, we had to hop to, and uh, so we put the bids out, and I think we got um, seven, I do believe, if I can remember, it was seven people responded, or seven parties or businesses, and they came up to uh, Douglas Center and we met them there, and they looked at the job, and <laughs> none of them wanted it. Wanted it. Nope, I don't blame them. And uh, mm -hmm. so, um, I don't know how this came about with these guys, the brothers. Um, but somewhere along the line, uh, we did get a hold of them, or maybe someone was advised to give them a call, mm -hmm. and they said they would do it. Uh, the price was the, the amount that we had budgeted, so we didn't have any more than that. So we had enough to get them to do the three cemeteries. Understanding that, I mean, even walking through those cemeteries is hazardous, let alone mowing. Mm -hmm. Um, no bike read. Yeah, it's tricky. No, so you've I agree. Have, I walk in it all the time. Yeah. So. so you have to have someone that is careful and considerate. And so we have had nothing but good luck. This is the first time since 11, 011, that we've, they've asked for an increase. So we Pay can them whatever you want. We can still, <laughs> well, we consider <laughs> ourselves pretty lucky. Yeah. You know? Well. 
Well, the thing is, number one, they do an excellent job. I mean, yes, they, they, do. they really, really do. Um, we've never, ever had a complaint. We might have a few people saying, when's it going to be done? And it's a weather-related thing, usually. I understand. Because they have yep. to gauge doing the three cemeteries. Yep. And, um, and as we say, you know, my lawn looked like heck, too, right up until the last time. Mine looked <laughs> like a jungle. <laughs> My I like backyard. mine looking like that. You know? <laughs> well, because the, the erosion, you know, because I have that too, you know, where my driveway yes, is down there. Yeah. Something doesn't, if the grass doesn't hold it there. Awful. I have it's erosion down. problems. Terribly. I have that too. The, my driveway yep. goes. Yep. Yep. Like that too. No. Mm -hmm. So basically, we're very happy with, we have no complaints about their, their work mm -hmm. and their, um, expertise in, in taking care of the going around the tombstones and whatnot. And I think if there's any issues, you know, that they notice, it's brought to our attention, which is a good thing also. I didn't you drove by today, right? Mm -hmm. Did you you didn't happen to notice if that stuff was spread, did you? It was not. It was not. Okay. Well, it's growing though. We're working. I know. Well, yes, I the, noticed that I've got very the, well. Yeah, I've got the same thing. Yeah. Very well. Yeah. Okay. Is there so any hopefully that'll be done in the next week, and uh, then we'll have to decide. I don't know how we're going to do financially this year. So. Well, I can tell you this much right now, uh, for till the end of June, based on the amount of this mowing. We do have money left, but maybe, depending after I speak to Brian, what he tells me exactly what his new price is, we could get one more mowing in and still have money left over. Okay. Not to go crazy with, but we... No, because I think, you know, we talked about there were a couple of trees that we'd like to have removed, or we've put it off, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. So, and then I really would like that fellow to come out and look at that, um, oh, what is that plot with the cast iron? We wanted someone to come out and look at it, the guy that did the gates for us. Oh, the church. Uh, was it a church, church thing, or was it a Dudley? Wallace. Wallace, that's it. It's a Wallace. It's a Wallace. Wallace. That's yes, right. Yes. Yeah. With all right the wires broken. Yes. 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 The so stones are cracked. Though. They, yeah. um, we've had good luck with this outfit and they're from Worcester. And we had the gates on the South Street Cemetery taken. It took us four years. But they did a beautiful job. Well, the gates were really in bad shape. Mm -hmm. And they were, if they'd gone on like that, you know, who knows? They just would have continued. So they were rusty mm -hmm. and into the ground. So the support structure broken and needed to be welded. So you needed to lift the gates up so that you could move them rather than being sunk mm -hmm. into the ground. So on one year we had them, one pair of gates removed, picked them up, took them to Worcester, sandblasted them, mm -hmm. And you then want, did you them. Want to take this home and look at it. Mom, good. Okay. Um, and then came back and hooked them up again. One set was pretty good, right? The first set we did, as far as the hinges, were pretty good. Yes, the 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 ones that really were awful were the, the farthest. One. Yeah, close, right next to the house yeah. there. Yeah, they were. Yeah, the hinges really needed to be welded, and and it, some support structure without destroying the lovely right. work on it. Because it's a beautiful, they're beautiful gates. They're just stunning gates. Oh, down there, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I the wish Wallace we could. The ones are just plain. I yeah. wish we could. Oh, yes, they're very plain. Very plain. So I thought, we had him scheduled to come out, was it last year? And it was a big thunderstorm <laughs> and he got <laughs> stuck yeah. somewhere. And he yeah, called never. us on the road from, he said, I'm coming back from a, estimating something in Rhode Island and he said and it was coming down in buckets and I said forget it you know because we would have to go up there and yeah show him where it was 
and um, by that time it was getting really dark. It was I don't I can't remember mm. what the details were, but but anyway, but he's reasonable. He'll he'll work with us with the little money that we have, have. and um, and he's a good guy. Mm. So and the job is I think like I said I wanted. Um, pictures of them to go in the town report. We never, oh. did. we never did that. Betsy, what I wanted to ask you, because uh, you had said that you walk, you know, you were always, you walk through the cemetery a lot. Did I, I do. do I also have to finish documenting it. That's the area I'm working in. Did you ever, uh, well, I don't, I don't know if you would know, but the brown house next door, mm -hmm. next door, okay, the screen house, mm -hmm. there are stones in there. Mm -hmm. They came from the shed. No, they did not. No. Where were the stones that were in the shed? What shed? There was a shed down there that at the we, bottom. That we took down. Yep. And it was full of broken stones. I don't know where those stones. That was before my time. Yep. So, so I, I don't know where those are either. Those, those stones were just placed oh, outside the shed. They're in there because... Oh, some of them are. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The others were stolen. Some of them were stolen. Shirley and I oh, went one day... We took. We went to the cemetery to do a walkabout. Mm -hmm. She showed me this. We saw the stones laid out there, and we it was were a hunt come, child. We were mm -hmm. going to come back and take that particular stone. Yeah. And when we went, I think it was maybe two days later, tops. That stone, along with maybe three others, were gone. So what we did was, when the Brown House went up, to, when the town bought it, we approached the Board of Selectmen and we asked if we could use the greenhouse. Mm -hmm. And Adam Ferno went to each cemetery where the broken stones that were there, and he brought them. He took pictures from each cemetery, which I have and printed out, mm -hmm. and I will show them to you, mm -hmm. of each cemetery that are in that there's Douglas Center mm -hmm. which that's like this thick there's Pine Grove I don't think there's South Street no you're right there may not be I don't think I there think were any with South Street because that was just after we had D I can never remember his name but that gentleman come and fix the stones oh yeah D Domenico no, it's with a G. <laughs> but he came and, and he fixed the stones. So I think that's why there were no South Street, but there was definitely Pine Grove. And there's still some there at Pine Grove, which, excuse me, what we like to do, Betsy, at the beginning of each season, the spring, is the commissioners get together and do a walkabout of each cemetery. Mm -hmm. In Pine Grove, there's, I know of definitely one, I don't know if there's another one, but it might have been a stone that fell over, but the grass has grown around right. it. Yep. So. But you know, the thing is that with lovely stones like the one we missed from yes. the hunt child, um, it, number one, it was small, and it was I remember it. a beautiful, beautiful Staying piece. on it. Yeah, mm -hmm. a piece of poetry, and um, and of course it had a historical connection. So we thought, regardless, I mean I've got stones in my basement from my house, but the real reality is that you should pay, take those stones and put them in a safe place, so that they're there, they're not diminished by the weather and whatever happens. So we could have, for instance, put it in the society. You could have gone there for protection. I had one stone. A woman called me. She was from Oxbridge or Oxford. And I forgot. I have it written down at home. She was from some organization. She had a stone from a Douglas cemetery in whatever organization it was. She dropped the stone off at my house. Adam picked it up and he put it with the ones in the screen house. But it just, it's funny how it's, for this town, it gets. Well, 
uprooted and now it's two yeah, tails away. I don't away. think that's unusual though. No, it is unusual. The reason we have stones and we found them piled in the back of the barn mm -hmm. when we acquired the property. Mm -hmm. What happened then was what people would do is as each family member passed away, they then decided at some point, I guess, to have one stone, put all the family on the stone or oh, the oblique stones sometimes, yeah. sometimes, yes. And then they took the older ones and, and brought them back to their home. Yeah, and just right them, yeah. for their their address at that time, I guess. Mm -hmm. So that's how I've got a mother and three children. Mm -hmm. So submit, submit more. Okay, anything else? No, uh, Betsy was saying that she wanted to invite Bill Cundiff. I want him to, to look at the erosion. About, to yeah. talk about the um, erosion. I do. The erosion on that side. Yeah. Where some of the stones have, have actually toppled over. So we can. Um, and those, yeah, I tried to put them back up again. I couldn't lift them up. No, it's a, it's quite a job to do it. You know, it's not anything that, and you don't want to let someone do it that doesn't know what the heck they're doing. No, I just, I was just trying to think if he could think of anything that would stop that erosion. I mean, growth, I know the growth, I yeah. guess, growth. Are you going to contact him or do you? Yeah, I will, because okay. I'll walk with him. Yeah, but you're going to give him a date to come? Oh, we got the next meeting if you want. I want him to look at the tomb too. I don't know how much dirt is on the top before you hit the stone. Not much. Maybe an inch. Okay, Two are inches. you go when you contact him, are you because our next meeting is When are we gonna have a next meeting? Our next meeting we scheduled it already is June nineteenth. Yep. At seven PM. Is that okay with you? Yeah. Okay. okay. Um I don't know if you contact him when you contact him, I don't know if you want to go before the meeting. And then the two of you can tell Shirley and I, you know. I just wanted to come and look at it and see if he had any thoughts. I mean, yes, the no, degree no, in engineering. So. That's, I understand that. What I'm yeah. saying is, for, do you, uh, if you go with him, you want him to check it out before our meeting? Okay, because we can invite, you can invite him to the meeting as well. Well, I like, I'm a stickler for paperwork. That's yeah, what. you can yeah. invite him to our well, meeting. Come to the meeting too. And between what you guys have to report and what I've what I put together, you know. Because originally those those hills weren't what? in that cemetery. They put those in the late 1800s. Is that right? Yeah. It originally was was just the thing. It was just the um, the hill. It was just the hill. And then during that time period, when everything you look at the front of my mother's house as the and the the house down in front of Bukema's. They all have that landscaping, which is popular in the Victorian late 1800s. So My neighbor, the cemetery, the decided to do what John Fernal calls the goat hills. You know, but those are, they're all starting to wash away. Well, if they're goat hills, then well, see, we should contact we someone with goats to do the lawn. Yeah, but if we continue to put seed, that's what. If yeah, it'll a, just wash if you away. If you have a homeowner, does that to their home? They improve their soil. The ability to new, new, you know, give nutrient to the soil, so you know it's it's a constant job. It's not something that you know, and we you know we haven't had the funds to do it. Right. Mm -hmm. That's basically the story. So it's you know it's like dribs and drabs, mm -hmm. and then you get discouraged because you see that oh, we thought we'd accomplish something. And another year has gone by, and it still looks the same. <laughs> Does, <laughs> or just about? I'm not, you know, I'm not saying totally, but <clears throat> anyway. I have a couple of Dudley plots up in there too. That I wonder how much longer they'll be there. You know, it just washes those those hills. Are just starting to just go down. Yeah. <laughs> well, because if I, I I noticed that that now that you mention it. Well, because those boxes have disintegrated too. 
Right. And yeah. that so is, everything I, decomposes. I think there's a lot of sand. I think the loom is washed yeah. off. Yeah. I think there's a lot of sand underneath that they built up that with. And, and that's they all you have some in vaults in there. No, 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 they're all wood or were. So that's why you break your ankle in the hole. I remember that. <laughs> I don't know who they are. No. Well, that's why the guys didn't want to mow. No, I know. They said, you're kidding, you know, this is too much of a job. <laughs> it's a job. Yeah, it's not like a straight lawn in and out. No, it's not. No, no it's tricky. So, um, yeah, and I haven't um, done anything about the moving those rows of Sharon's from that house property to the cemetery property. And I think a, maybe a discussion with uh, Dewey about that, okay. the tree guy. Can we do that? Did they say we could do that? Yeah, I, as I can remember. Okay. Well, because I don't want them raising that house if that's, you know what, what I mean? The Duhamel house? Yeah. If they yeah, do. It's on it, the agenda. Yeah, I, I figured it would be, because it's silly to let it. It's been vandalized so many that's times. That's right. So if they raised it, in other words, those three lovely bushes, so sizable, they, would cost, they yeah. would cost several hundred dollars to purchase them. Yeah. So instead of them going to the bulldozer, you know, I'd like to see if we can get them reestablished. They're finally going to do something with that brown house? Well, well I don't think it's on their agenda this year, though. No, I'm sure it isn't. But it's going to sit there until it's going to be a hazard. Yeah, it's a hazard. If it isn't a hazard. It is. Yeah. It's true, yes. Yeah. OK. OK, if there's nothing else, I make a motion you to You have adjourn. anything? Let, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. But I'm just saying, Betsy, you know, else. you're new and you, you've got thoughts and ideas. I don't know. I, I, I want to talk to build the kind of see what we can all do right. about that. Because I, I don't want all those stones to start no, rolling down, down into the pond. You see that this is getting right into it. No, but I think that's good. And we always learned from Bill. No, we've talked about this too for saved a long us, time. He's saved us a lot of money. Because Over the years, it started two years oh, ago, no, remember the discussion, right? We were worried about it. We contacted a museum, was it a yeah, museum in Worcester? Mm -hmm. And uh, they said that because it was a receiving tomb, mm -hmm. they couldn't help us. That if it was a crypt, they could. Mm -hmm. And then the gravestone girls came and they told us that it's not restoration, it's because it's a receiving tomb, that it's not restoration, it's preservation. It's plaster. I'm just, re that's what we I'm said stenciled. at the meeting. I mean, it's a lot like my house. And they suggested that we um, have someone come in and do some kind of study and that has come to a halt, which you're, that's why what you're saying about Bill Condup is very good because we don't have a DPW, so there are no grants that we're eligible for to bring this no, kind of a person. No, we have a high commission. We no. don't have a... If we had a commission, we could apply for money. If right, we had a that's DPW, what I'm saying. Which I'm sure it has a DPW. Yeah. We don't have one. No. We have a highway to pat it, or whatever it's called, the highway commission. If they took the highway and they took the... They would have to get rid of John Fernal to do that. No, they don't. No, 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 no. no. They, they, if they would have... Because Larry Bambara had to go get a degree in something in order to become the department head. That's right. well, you just Most department heads for a DPW, because the town that I worked in has one in, mm -hmm. in New York, I think that's a fear. That's a general fear. Yes. I don't know. That's what Larry told me. Yeah. So it is. I'm just telling you. No, I'm just saying. I think that the because general. Because you had, we, I'm sorry, Shirley. Okay. We had a highway department. We had a buildings and grounds. The highway superintendent was an elected official. The head of buildings and grounds wasn't. When we created the DPW, they merged the highway the building and maintenance, 
and other little departments, like mm -hmm. would be some whatever, they all came together. And sometimes they would, and I know in my town, they use the town engineer, usually, because they have more knowledge, they would be the head of the overall department. But now you need your highway department head, he has to report to the head of DPW, this is our budget, this is what we've done, <laughs> like that, and so on. It's really just a question of the I big know, boys no don't want to play No, I know that. There is no. They're all private. Yes. They privatized them all out. Yeah. Oh. You wonder, smart move? <laughs> the town doesn't have to take care of them. That's right. No. Yeah. They're beautiful cemeteries. Well, I tell you, of course, the churches are also, you know, it's like St. Dennis, and then in Uxbridge they have that. St. Mary's. St. Mary's. And that's mm -hmm. beautiful. Mm -hmm. They have a caretaker for that. That's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's lovely. Prospect Hill. Mean, very well. They have their little family ones. Yeah. Because I have all the documentation for them. Yeah. No, oh, but yeah. that's lovely. Um, well cared for. And, you know. So anyway. We have 16. Hmm? We have 16. Believe it or not. On your property? No, 16 in town. Oh, I thought there was more than that. There's, I thought more, there's, not, there's not more than 16? Oh yeah, I thought there was like 26. The one on Pine Street, they drove the road through. That was all one cemetery at one time. That was the Friends Cemetery. Some people said, oh, well, there's one here, there's one there, there's one here, there's one there. That's not true. That was all one at one time. Well, yeah, That's because the they put cemetery. Pine Street through, yes. Correct. But some people labeled them as separate, so that's not four. That is actually just one. Because you talk about tombstones going. I remember driving I years saw ago, and the tombstones were the there house. one day, and the next week that they were gone. was finally built. Oh, Ellen's? With the cemetery in the, in the front. Yeah. Yeah. That's Ellen's house. I don't know who Ellen is. That she's bought that property and built her house on it. She's from Oxbridge. Johnson. Yep, Ellen Johnson. I thought her father bought the property. He did. But that's hers. Yep. Yep. And the neck, the woods next to the cemetery is where the meeting house was. Yes, up on the little hill to the left. Right. Yep. Do we have any further business? No, we don't. <laughs> okay. Shirley wants to go home. I don't blame you. I'm leaving for California tomorrow. I make a motion to adjourn the meeting at 8.57. Oh, I second. Okay. So moved. Good evening, everyone. <laughs>